welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna unbox this product called Oxido Heat Gun Kit. Many of you know uh, what the heat gun can be used for. It can be used to quickly dry any painting work, uh, dry any joint compound. Um, maybe you can use it for wrapping uh, with plastics, uh, you know, plastic wrapping for gear or hamper box. And also you can use uh, this for uh, what do you call it, you know, tightening up cables so it looks nice and tidy. But today I'm not gonna show you all the stuff. I'm gonna unbox this to show you what's inside this box. I bought it from Buddy My House for $49.98, which is the cheapest price for a heat gun. And today I'm gonna do some experiments uh, using the heat guns, some fun experiments, by comparing with a domestic hairdryer. Very nice briefcase. Plastic made but quite solid. Manual books, the heat gun itself. It's not heavy. Ah, this is the scrapper I guess. And this is the nozzles. I guess this is another scrapper. So this is called cone nozzle. The flat shape one is called fish tail nozzle. And this one is called reflector nozzle. And the last nozzle is called glass protector nozzle. I'm only interested in the heat gun. So I'm gonna put everything back in the box except for the heat gun itself. The manual is very useful. It got all the names and operations and how to use it. Uh, if you ever lost this, you can download from uh, the website. This is a regular tap water, uh, room temperature. This is an empty uh, jug. I'm gonna pour this into that. I have this digital thermometer. I use this usually for you know, checking my steak or when I'm making a coffee uh, with milk. When I heat up the milk, I don't want my milk too hot. So I use this digital thermometer. That should be enough. I'm gonna check the temperature of this tap water. So it takes probably about five, six, seven seconds. So this water, this tap water is 21 degree. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a heat gun, probably about five centimeters from, from the service, the water service, probably about one minute. And then I'll put the measure again. So let's start. Oh. Temperature is 27.4. Now it's dropping to 27.2. So in one minute, it can warm up from 21 degree to 27. Not bad, not bad. Now let's compare that using the domestic hair dryer. With the same amount of water, I'm gonna use a hair dryer for one minute. is 22.8 or 22.7 so in one minute using a hair dryer it only adds 
about 1 degree Celsius. So, heat gun is still the winner. This is a solid ice ball, fresh from the freezer. So I'm gonna put this into the jug and using the heat gun, we test how long it takes for the heat gun to melt this solid ice ball. Instead of a timer, I'm doing a stopwatch. Let's start from zero. Ready, set, go. So completely melt the ice ball. Wow! Look at that. The temperature is 44 degrees. Really warm. Alright, with the same ice ball, I'm going to use a, a domestic hydrator. I think I'm gonna stop at 3 minutes and 6 seconds. It's still half done, not too hot. Experiment number 2, the winner is the heat gun. Alright, so this is the last experiment. Do you know what this is? Yeah, this is an Uzi from Woolies. So, I'm gonna melt this Uzi. And kids, if you're watching this, this is just for grown up having fun. Don't try this at your home or anyone home. I'm gonna use a, a face mask, protective glasses, and this one just in case anything bad happens. I think it takes about 4 minutes to melt this. I'm not gonna touch this, it's very, very hot. Look at that. It's almost burned the paper. So, what do I think about this heat gun? I think it's cheap and very powerful. So, thank you for watching. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. And I'll see you next time. Ciao! And see, well, come on. Look at this mess. Two minutes, oh, sorry.